Hey folks, before we begin, I just want to let you know I'll be on break. I'm taking the entire month of November off, but I'll return December 3rd. It's been two years since I've had a proper vacation. I need this. Mmm, Chinese roast duck. I had it when I was in Hong Kong, and everyone should try making it. But making roast duck can be a little bit tricky. And by a little bit tricky, I mean you have to purchase a $50 piece of equipment from Harbor Freight Tools in order to make it. So yeah, a whole roasted Chinese duck is by no means for beginners. So I came up with this, Peking Duck Breast. It uses ingredients similar to Peking Duck without any of the hassle. And uh, to the haters out there going, oh, that's not real Chinese food. Oh yeah, taking creative liberty with another culture's icon. I'm sure China has never done that to us. Okay, now obviously you're gonna need some duck breasts. I got two duck breasts right here. And the uh, first thing we gotta do is just uh, trim them up a bit. See this? This is silver skin. If we cook it, it's gonna get tough, chewy, and inedible. I don't care if your jaws from James Bond, you do not want to eat this, so it has to go. Okay, now trim off any excess skin. All right, flip the breastuses over. Next, make very shallow incisions into the breast meat like this. I'm talking TikTok political hot take shallow. This will help render out the fat later, come cooking. Next thing we're gonna do is vacuum seal these breasties. Now, if you don't have this, you can get by with a regular zip talk bag. Just suck as much air out of it as you can. I'll, but if you wanna get the time to wanna buy this, I'll leave a link to this in the description. All right, let's place our duck breasts inside. Make sure there's a good amount of space between them. Okay, set your sous vide machine to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you start violent riots because your soccer team lost? The number you're looking for is 58 degrees Celsius. Okay, once the sous vide finally comes up to temperature after like, what, an hour? Yeah, try to find something smaller than this. Insert our duck breasts in and let it cook for 90 minutes. I feel like rocking, so I think I will. Okay, after 90 minutes, dump out the water, which is why my shirt's wet, and retrieve our duck breasts. All right, let's set these babies free. Pat them dry, and head for the stove. But before we do, let's take care of the deglazing liquid. I have here in this cup half a cup of water, to which we'll add two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and two tablespoons of honey. Oh, and to give it that extra kick of authenticity, sprinkle in some MSG. And no, it won't cause an allergic reaction. AJ Plus did a good video debunking all the myths about MSG. Uh, check out that video right here if you're interested. Mix everything together. All right, let's give it a taste test. A little bit more hoisin. And a little bit more soy. Now then, let's get started. So what I have here is a pan set over medium high heat. Ah, gotcha. I added that sizzle in post-production. The pan's actually cold. And that's actually important because that's what we're gonna put our duck breasts in. So place our breasts skin side down. Then turn on the pan to medium high. Why are we doing this? Why can't we just toss this in a hot pan? Couple reasons. The reason why ducks can float on water 
and not sink to the bottom is because there's lots of fat in their muscular tissue. And we gotta render out as much of that fat as we can from the duck. Otherwise, you're chewing on a greasy piece of meat. And by starting off in a cold pan, then gradually raising up the temperature, we allow ourselves to render more and more in that fat, as you can see right here. Let's just go on for about another two or three minutes. Oh, and while that's going on, let's season them with some salt and some Chinese five spice. All right, after about five minutes, flip our duck breasts over. And cook it for about a minute. All right, after about a minute, transfer our ducks to a wooden cutting board. And let it rest. And uh, while we let it rest, uh, dump out the fat. Uh, I'm gonna give it a minute for the smoke to clear. Okay, the smoke's cleared. Let's get to work on the sauce. All right, the pan's over medium heat. Let's add our deglazing liquid. Whisk all the stuff off the bottom. Reduce it until it forms a thin, syrupy consistency. And while you do that, slice up our duck breast into nice bite-sized pieces. Okay, once it's looking a little bit syrupy, turn off the heat and layer it all over our duck. And if you have any leftover sauce, just put it in a little cup, use it as a dipping sauce. Top it off with some green onions and some cucumbers, and dig right in. If my family's watching, yes, I know what happened when I was six or seven. I've grown up since then, and I learned to love duck meat. Now will you leave me alone? This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. I mean, hmm, I made a lot of references to furry inflation this past episode. Am I into it? No, 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 no. I'm not into furryism.